Technology has a growing impact on all aspects of our lives today. Thanks to the digital revolution, we are all becoming digital first consumers. We have very high expectations on whatever services that we are consuming today on our mobile phones or through web applications. Now we want our experiences to be as cool as Apple's. We want it to be as engaging as Instagram's and as convenient as Grab's, isn't it? And that is putting a lot of dynamism into application development or the experiences that we are using at the front end. But at the same time, it is putting a lot of demands on the infrastructure, the software architectures that has been developed at the back end. And thus evolved the DevOps or CI/CD into the uh, popularity. So when we look at how the development teams are working together with operations team, Actually, that is all helped not just as a, at the cultural level, at the process level, but also is being helped by the technology and the infrastructure. This marriage of development and operations is possible because mainly because of the possibility that technology has brought forward, and it is being driven by the two main major revolutions that have created this impact. Now, the first revolution that I am talking about. That started somewhere around 1989, actually 30 years ago, and it was started by a person called Linus Torvalds, who actually started uh, to chat, or create or address the problem of software development, a proprietary software development, a restrictive software development, and tried to democratize that by bringing the power of community or collaborative software development aspect into the picture. his project the pet project linux actually become so popular and actually become very much uh, inspiration for other open source technologies so that revolution that i'm talking about is of course open source revolution which has democratized the way the software development happens the second revolution that i'm talking about just started uh, 10 years ago and actually within the span of 10 years it has turned actually the scale of Uh, operations the scale of infrastructure the compute and servers and networks which was only privileged by well funded organization on its head these advantages are turned on its head and are being even provided to a small scale organization which may be operating in a small garage today and uh, is now able to leverage the power of high end computing high end storage and network and that revolution is cloud revolution just started 10 years ago but it has become ubiquitous in all aspects of our lives and is driving the digital transformation today now let's go to the aspects where open source is playing a role in terms of providing flexibility and scalability to the customers and also at the same time providing innovation to the customer what it has done is it has brought in lot of thousands and millions of software developers together through the medium of communities and they are now starting to contribute to the source code the new features and bringing innovation at a scale and at a very fast speed because so many developers developing the source code it actually contributes to the uh, rapid uh, agile development at the same time when thousands and thousand eyeballs are being received by the same source code that source code becomes so secure that even the proprietary softwares cannot beat it so it has become more secure more scalable and more innovative in terms of providing the flexibility to the organizations through the open source adoption at the same time in terms of uh, when we look at the cloud revolution what it has brought forward is the scale of operations the flexibility of operation the elasticity of operations because organizations can now scale at will even a small scale organization can decide that i want to start with one server i don't need to provide thousand servers assuming that my business will be super successful and at the same time they can scale at a faster rate when it, their ideas are really becoming successful they can scale down and scale up at a will and pay as you go model so on one side from the open source model we have a subscription based model which was basically catered by the organizations to provide sla based support providing tools which organizations can use in enterprise production deployments this is a subscription based model that we are talking about which was brought by open source technologies 
whereas in cloud we have pay as you go model when we are talking about on demand uh, operations or on demand uh, scalability pay as you go works best so what is happening now is today customers want to use best of both the worlds they want to marry both the technologies what open source has done is democratize the way the software development is done but what cloud has done or cloud revolution has done is democratize the way the scalability the deployment happens the operations happen so they are both helping in their own terms on one for the development one for the operations or the scalability or the deployment today in today's context customers want to marry both these revolutions together they want advantages of both the revolutions they want the flexibility they want the innovation they want the security of the open source technologies and at the same time they want the scalability the flexibility pay as you go model of the uh, cloud adoption and that's where organizations like aws google microsoft are playing a huge role in providing a lot of platforms as a service infrastructure as a service or software as a service to the customers and also providing options to adopt open source technologies on all these platforms so amazon's rds uh, which caters to lot of open source technologies like open uh, postgres for example or mariadb for example or mysql for example is a very good example how open source is being provided as a option on cloud platform and customers are adopting it very heavily so uh, in fact open source and cloud in themselves are very revolutionary technologies or rev very revolutionary thought processes which are disruptive in their own sense but when they marry together i have no doubt that this is going to be a completely disruptive force for all the market establishments and players and those who adopt both the things both the revolutions they are going to be super successful in this digital first world Thank you.